What's the difference? You're another reaction. Today we're hopping into The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, episode number three, season number one, called Maddie Checks In. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episode over there if you want them. If you don't, that's totally cool. Episodes will be here on YouTube whenever they show up. So, uh, obviously the first two episodes we're kind of getting to know the boys and the hotel itself and the side characters like uh, Maddie and London and what's... Osby is the guy, right? And then the butler dude. They got to know a couple characters, see a couple of their friends. Um, I don't know what the friend's name is. Isn't it like Earthworm or something like that? Um, we got to know some of their char- some of those guys. Uh, and get to know what the concept of the show is. The concept of the show is we're going to live in this hotel and shenanigans. So uh, we'll kind of keep going from there, see if it develops into another bigger story. I don't think it ever will. Uh, I think it's going to be kind of like the Victoria show where not gonna be bigger stories than what we get usually so we're gonna keep going see where it takes us here we go um, uh, uh, Maddie. <laughs> what he said oh. <laughs> so do you come to the tipton hotel often rich people don't care about anything but themselves whoa hey man recycle that you serious <laughs> Did you recycle Sure, bottles, cans, newspapers. Since when? Well, since my father bought Oregon and started chopping down the trees. <laughs> I don't want to burst any bubbles, but it's so much fun. Why would you do that? Why would you do that to her? I couldn't help overhearing your plan. Oh, <laughs> and memoed me, no more of these. So you're essentially but, but, but No buts. It is unseemly that a girl your age be out alone. <laughs> You hear somebody go whoop? Oh, yeah, we're not even following them. So it's not even going to be about you guys mostly. All the time, I mean. Let's all go to the rooftop. Except for Maddie and Jason. (laughs) Didn't they just say goodbye? (laughs) Hey, thanks for letting me stay the night. Sure, no problem. So, uh... And now I know why. Yes. Jason has spoken of nothing. It makes sense, though. Look how old they are, and look how old he is. is on a very high floor. Because he's fucking 40. That dude's old as hell. Um, Might as well be like 15, right? to the top floor. The Imperial Suite. Her old suite. He's yelling for you? For me? He never yells for me. He yells at me, but only when I deserve it. Which is often. He's a great man. (laughs) Well, you're keeping a great man waiting. Ah, but this dress must go to London. We'll take it. Rich. Good. <laughs> was that the dress that London was supposed to wear? Oh, look, you put the middle in it. only have one night here. You've got to see her. Although I'm what? sure we can find someone just as good who is not at this hotel. Nonsense, we have reservations. I thought we were going Otherwise. to that other place. I'd be so mad. Keep it moving, folks. Only the best table for my friends. But I don't want your mom. The hell? <laughs> Decent handshake. Mr. Amputator. Most be. What do we do now? We have to Ain't no pro- local promoter. That man. I guess if it's WWE, then it maybe. Wait. He's gonna wish he never checked in. Oh, what are you? Is he about to? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so what floor are you staying on? 5, 12, 14, 17, 20, basement? Well, actually, it's uh, 25, but thanks for hitting all the buttons for me. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. This is what, man, you mean to tell me we come near and we don't even, like, we come to, we eat at a hotel. He likes wrestling. Oh, nice. We're getting him out. I'll call you when the coast is clear. No, don't run away from me. Hey, my dress breaks down. You told her we gave it to Maddie? <gasps> no. No, idiot. Sure, because we didn't do that. You win. Uh-huh. 
You're locking her in the you closet? in here. In here? Yeah. 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 Now we have to go in there and fix everything. All right, let's put this puppy back together. Okay, they're coming. We are so good. I mean, the guy's gonna come back, right? Kind of stuff. Yes. It's oh, prison. 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 <laughs> There's two of them, except in my dreams where I see them by the hundred. She means it's not mine. Stole it. <clears throat> I'm not rich. I work at the hotel as a candy counter girl. I knew she wasn't rich. She's too. Nice. <laughs> Wonder if we ever get to see her family. Where she actually really is from. Like talking. Oh wow, we're getting into some acting here. Then I'll talk and you listen. <laughs> Honey, you really should. Now Jason won't hate me. No, you don't know that. Who cares if he hates you? And you're not giving yourself very much credit. Never see this guy again. I know, I'm <laughs> such a stupid. Stop saying that. Here. May I? You injured a professional wrestler. <laughs> All to help a friend. I mean, and did that they should be injure his him? own reward. Mom! Mom, come on! You do remember what we do when we say goodbye, right? No, don't kiss him. No! No! I think so. No! No! Again? How many times do they have to say goodbye? Relaxing. Oh, stay up there. Have you seen how you're going down? I'm surprised they didn't get a real wrestling. Apparently not asleep yet. Okay, well that was episode number three. Uh, we got some decent acting there, man. I was kind of a bit shocked at the end. Uh, this uh, Ashley Tizzo. Uh, Maddie here. We got some emotion, some acting. We got to tell a decently real story of some, you know, the rich and the poor, and Maddie kind of feeling like she has to be somebody else because she that's the only way she could date somebody that's wealthy and comes from a different lifestyle. That's pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> the boys helping her was dope. I like that it didn't focus on them. I was I thought that every episode would always focus on them somehow, but I like that we focus on the girls a little bit. Uh, I'm guessing London's always going to be this character. I mean, maybe she'll grow by the end of this, the series, but, you know, she is what she is. She's super, like, she's not a good person from the looks of it, even though she kind of is nice to Maddie sometimes. Um, yeah, overall, decently funny. Some, not really anything ha-ha moments, some decent one-liners. The dudes that they were dating were old as hell, and I'm going to assume the girls are at least 18, I'm guessing. But these dudes look old, bro. They look like they are t- mid twenties or thirties. Um, didn't really get anything with Mr. Mosby. We got the Esteban. Is that what they called him? We got to see um, the Spanish dude. Um, yeah. Overall, just a decent episode. I mean, I'm, like I said, I don't know if this is ever gonna jump to bigger than what it is. I mean, I, I don't know what to expect with these. Like, I don't know how to break these down. I already kind of struggle with breaking down comedies themselves. And this is a sitcom for kids, essentially. So it's kind of like one of those enjoy the rise kind of thing. But it's cool that the boys helped. And I, so who is this? I, uh, he's the one that likes her, right? He's, he, he made it seem like he likes her. And then she said, like, in 10 years or something. But yeah, overall, decent episode. If you guys enjoyed it, going to get out of here. Talk to you guys later.